Welcome back guys to another video. It is October the 3rd, 2019. It is a brisk 42 degrees, but I'm out here playing because, I mean, this is one of the last times I'll get to play. Not that windy, there's probably about a 10 mile an hour wind, but it's chilly. Just played the first hole here, made a bogey. I'm gonna film the next couple, talk through my shots, see what happens. Come and join me for the ride. Thanks for watching, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let's get into the video. I am playing it to where I can pick and place it and clean it because it did just snow yesterday, believe it or not. Got a, got a light dusting. Luckily, by the afternoon of the next day, it was all gone so I can play. So I'm playing pick, clean, and place just in case there's some mud. It's not going to roll out far once it pitches and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just out here enjoying the last of the, last of the fall golf weather. Let's keep playing. 153 here, a little downhill, a little downwind. I'm gonna hit a nine iron, see if we can get it there. Let's get it on the green and two putt. Pin high right, it's a pretty solid shot. I've got myself 25 feet for birdie. I'll take it. So, this doesn't need to go in the video, but it's going to anyways. And by the time this is posted, it'll be after the fact. But I'm going to see the new Joker movie tonight. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I don't know if you guys have seen the new trailers or anything, but I'm kind of geeking out about it. I'll be honest. Um, it's not related to Batman or anything, but it's just about the Joker origin. So post up in this corner. I think it's this corner. It's either this corner or this corner. Not really sure. Um, post up in the corner. If you like DC or Marvel better. Now don't get me wrong. Marvel makes great movies. I loved. Um, Infinity War and Endgame, they're great. But I've always been a Batman DC kind of man. I didn't mind the Justice League, Suicide Squad, Batman vs. Superman. Everyone thought they sucked. I didn't think they were that bad. I'll probably get roasted by some people. That's fine, I'll take it. I enjoyed it. If you enjoy a movie, who cares what other people think? Anyways, tell me if you're gonna go see it and if you like DC or Marvel better. Let's make this birdie putt. Once again, sorry for that geek out session, but I'm very excited for this movie. I'm going to the 945 showing tonight. Uh, I may or may not have skipped one of my classes. Don't tell anybody, it's fine. And um, we've got a nice cold cream soda waiting for me for supper. I'm making this day as good as it possibly can be. I've been waiting for this movie since January and I'm gonna do it right. Okay, sorry, barred that hole. Nice two putt there. Par five here, let's see what we can do. Okay, so I'm gonna keep talking. Basically, this movie has turned into a Joker review and I haven't even seen it yet. There's all the controversy going around about like society and violence and how this movie depicts that and all that stuff. And if you wanna buy into that, great, you go right ahead. But my thoughts are like, there's so many, you know, violent movies that come out, horror movies, action movies, war movies, and those don't get any big publicity like this does. So I don't know, why is this movie? Um, why is this movie getting that? I haven't seen it, maybe I'll hate it, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. Now, I don't know, I'm just gonna go and enjoy it, but I just don't think this movie should get that much hate when a lot of other movies also do the same thing. Okay, that's the last time I'm mentioning it. I promise, I'm, I'm done, I'm done. Hit a good drive there, carried about 255, 260 into the slight wind, and it's still only what? It's 43 degrees now, so I'm actually really happy with that. It's cold out, wearing a sweatshirt into the wind. That's a pretty good carry, especially for me at the moment. I'm trying to build my swing speed to get a little faster, but it takes time, as we all know. Hit a good layup there, right down the middle. We'll have 80 yards, maybe. Let's chip it on, make a birdie. Pitched here. We got one 
two, three, four yards of rollout. We got about 60 yards in the summer that would have easily rolled into that bunker, maybe got lucky and got on, but it's a little wet. Let's chip it on and make a birdie. Probably gonna hit a little 56. A little long there. It's a safe play though. Gave myself eight feet for a birdie. Downhill right to left. Let's knock her in. Played a little too much break there. Saw it as right to left it was. I just hit a little too hard and a little too much break, but it's okay, it's a par. I'm one over through the three holes. I filmed two. Um, I've got a really cool video coming in, I'd say about a month, month and a half, so stay tuned. Uh, we won't be out on the course by then, would be my guess. If we do, it's a complete miracle, but it'll be a really cool video, and I've got some cool ideas over the winter. How me slack off school, something I don't care about, but we don't need to get in that now. Um, yeah, so one over through three holes. Par four, my favorite hole on the course. Nice dog leg left. I'm gonna hit a nice draw over those bunkers. We'll have 100 yards in. I hit that drive really good. Nice mid flight of draw, downwind. It'll be perfect. That's why I love this hole, especially if it's downwind off the right. I just can sling a draw over this second bunker. Perfect. Got some nice rollout with that one. Pitched it about up here, ran out about 30 yards. I think it's because it pitched in the rough and it was downhill, so it kicked forward. Carried that bunker by about 30 yards, which is usually a 240-ish carry. Sometimes, depending on where the tee's at, it's like 250, but yeah, I'm happy with that. Very, very happy with that. We've got about 70 yards. I'm gonna just play the pins tucked, tucked. I'm gonna play like right there, give myself a birdie putt, we'll move on. I did exactly what I said I was gonna do. Wiped out half the universe. Thanos did exactly what he said he was gonna do. He wiped out 50% of all living creatures. This is the fight of our lives. Gave myself a little, little 20 footer here. Had pin if I went short and right or long, it would just be a tough up and down. So I'm happy with where I left it. We'll get it up and down. Not up and down. We'll two putt and move on. Back up my favorite hole on the course with my least favorite hole on the course. We got a par four here. It's about 450-ish. Um, straight into the wind, water right. If you go left, you're gonna have 200 plus. It's a very, very tough hole, especially now that it's into this cold wind. But we'll just knock one down there, chip on, two putt, chip, chip, two putt, something like that. Bogey on this hole isn't too bad. That tee shot was so good right down the middle, it snapped my plastic tee head off. Look at that. See, just straight off the shaft. The head fell off the shaft. I carried that 255 straight into the wind again. I'm very happy with that. Pitch rolled out about two yards, so solid. We've got about 160 here left, 165. Might have a six or a seven iron. Get it on the green, two putt, and move on. Didn't see my first one, so I hit a second one. Second one I ended pin high right, just on the green. I think my first one, looking back at the video, is a little left. It started a little left, but the wind's a little off the right. I couldn't tell. I heard it down. Didn't sound fancy. Yeah, I think it's on the bank up here by the green, but the uh, 170 hit a seven iron. Both of them were great strikes, good shots. I'm happy with either one. Let's get up and down. Not bad here. Pretty pin high, just pretty far left. You can see my second one ended was a really good shot, really, but up and down for a par. So 
So I thinned that one a little bit, but I've gotten a lot better at not leaving my chip shots short. I've been so, so used to just leaving them way short, barely on the green, stuff like that. So I really try to get them to the hole now. That one was a little thin, so it wasn't a great example, but I don't like leaving chip shots short anymore. So let's see if we can make the putt for par. Well guys, I think we have the last hole of the video here, hole number six. I'm one over for the holes I have filmed. I'm two over total. Uh, bogeyed the first and I just bogeyed number five, missed that putt. It was a good putt, just didn't go in. But we've got hole number six here, it's a par three. I just ranged it 198, so about 200. I wanna hit a six, but I'm gonna hit a five. I just throw my ego out the door a little bit. Um, let's get it on the green, end this video with a par. Hopefully it's not my first hole on one. Oof, I don't want to call that. That'd be kind of embarrassing. Yeah. It was no hole in one, but if you can see my ball, it's like just left of the pin right above my finger. That was really bad, but man, that's a good shot. So unfortunately I didn't call the hole in one, but man, pitched there, ended there. Five iron from 200 yards, six feet. Incredibly happy with that. Let's make the putt. Okay guys, thanks for watching. That was the video. I finished even for those five holes. So basically five pars. For the five stars I'm going to give that movie tonight. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Okay. Um, yeah, that was fun. Um, I have three holes left. I might play 18. I haven't decided yet, but that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've got some really good stuff coming up in the near future, so stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, the bell button, all that stuff YouTube wants you to do when you only have 170 subscribers, but Hopefully by the middle of November we have 200 and then by March I want to have 500. I want to make a big jump here. So you guys can help me out. I appreciate all the support and all that stuff. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you all in the next video.